Hi there, uh, my name is Isar, and in this video I would like to explore a little bit more about callbacks on M screen, of course. Um, so the last time, uh, I think, yes, we we end up in this uh, demo, in this test, where we basically, I was sh trying to explain that you can register a callback per primitive. Right, so if you haven't seen the previous video, go watch that and come back later. Uh, so you can basically register a callback or an event or basically a function will be called uh, every time the screen gets refreshed right, on your primitive, bare primitive. So in this case we create two curves, uh, a cage and a curve. We create four uh, transforms. And transform nodes in Maya and then we through a callback deform each primitive using those uh, transforms right so if I run this oh okay if I run this oh there you go uh, we have four new uh, transform nodes in the scene and if I move them uh, they deform the curves right both curves so you hope it, it Hope it makes sense. So that that's useful. That that's cool. But what happens when you have many many primitives, right? That that may be a bit of a problem. So in order to try that, I implemented the same mechanism at the global level, and I would like to show you a new test. Let's go. Stress, stress test is uh, where basically, let me, uh, sorry, where basically I'm registering here at the end uh, a callback uh, at the M screen level, I'm managing a bunch of points, uh, creating a particle system. So if I go to Maya, let me delete those transforms and I will execute this code again. And if I press play, uh, you can see my particle. Well, let me let me add a few more frames. You can see the particles uh, doing this uh, simulation. It's a very simple particle system uh, done in Python from scratch. But nevertheless, it shows kind of the potential of this callback system. Again, this is OpenGL. This is not, they're not Maya particles. This is OpenGL on the viewport. So if I do a new scene, and of course, press play again, you can see the particles still there. This is, I call them particles, but they're just points moving around. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so uh, I would like to, more than the particle system itself, I, I think it's a cool example, it was a lot of fun. I would like to show you how to how to implement the drawing part of it uh, using M-Screen in this kind of project. Uh, so of course, it's, it's a lot of code. I mean, it's not a lot of code. It's more code than the other examples. It's 200 lines, which is not much, but you know. But the M-Screen part, it's really tiny. So basically, uh, maybe I can do like a search. So basically, uh, I create this, uh, let me do it like that. Yes, sorry. I'm creating this uh, particle class uh, for create objects with a bunch of properties that are useful for a simulation system, a particle systems, but then I also created uh, as an as an element of this class uh, a, a point, an M screen point, that I call that GL, and then there's a bunch of properties passing through to that GL object, right? So I'm basically extending an M screen point by composition. That's all I'm doing here, and then after that. Um, the other big thing maybe at the end of it 
I register like a global callback calling the simulate method of the particle system passing the Maya time in as an argument. So every time the screen gets refreshed, uh, this, this method is called with the current time. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, it's all about the particle simulation itself. Uh, so, yeah, like, I don't know, simulate, uh, add force. It's all about the particles. So I, I, th I think the, the takeaway of this is the power of unlocking the viewport in a way so you can tackle this kind of thing in an afternoon as a thought experiment as a prototype or I don't know you can you can play with this kind of problems uh, easily without having to go into GL code or more low level stuff so it, it make it very accessible and it's a lot of fun so feel free to give it a try the example is online it's test stressed you can get it from github and um, and yeah have fun let me know if you do something cool and that's it that's it for now see you later guys bye bye